Are you tired of spamming attack all the time in this game and it is hurting your fingers or you know your thumb? Well in this video I'm going to show you a hidden settings on Steam that is gonna help improve the quality of life of this game. Look I wanna apologize before the video starts because this is a bit clickbaity. So what you need to do is that you can hold down your attack button and then it will just automatically attack for you. But the downside of this is that if you have a skill that needs to be hold, then you cannot do that. So that is a thing to keep in mind. Okay, so what you need to do, this is only for a controller, okay, for a controller. I don't think you can assign this with anything. So first of all, you need to turn on your controller, alright? Now, see this icon over here? Yes, click on this, and then it will have this layout. But if you don't have this view layout, edit layout, and stuff like that, alright, for example, this is the page that you are in, yeah, you don't have view layout or edit layout, so first thing first you need to do is enable Steam input, that's it, and then view layout, okay, so the good thing about this is that you can set this up individually, like, once you set it up, it's only for that game, it's nice, so view layout, and then just click in any of this, it's really really good. And then you go to the buttons, of course. So in my case, uh, when you want to attack, it's square, right, or X. So click here to the settings, click to settings, and then turn this on, hold to repeat, yeah, turbo basically. So again, turn this on, like so. So if you decrease this repeat, it will so the press is much faster if you increase it the delay between the presses is like larger or wider whatever you want to say it so um, for me I like it to set it to 125 or 100 now the fire start delay now this is where it's at so for example if you decrease the fire start delay uh, once you hit the button it will immediately start the turbo mode but that's the issue though because you can misclick something if you set the fire start delay to zero so when you hit a it will automatically start the turbo mode so i like to set it up to like 75 like so 75 so when you hit x or probably x yeah in my case because i use an xbox controller so once you hit x once and not hold it it will still only press once so when you hold it longer it will start the turbo mode if you understand what i mean so that's basically it and fire and delay is i'll set it to zero because once you release your button it will automatically stop for you you can also uh, use toggle i don't know what the cycle commands are and uh, so click on interruptible because if you don't turn this on when you're still holding the button and you want to dodge you cannot do that you have to release the button first and then you can press any other buttons so yeah that's not a good thing set your turbo mode uh, repeat rate it's up to you the the lower the repeat rate means that it will increase the presses and the fire start delay i like to set it up to 75 in any games if you're asking me what about the hold like yeah sure you don't need hold in this game like I mainly play Id, Lancelot, and Catalina. And you don't need hold, well, you do need hold uh, for Id, but you don't really need hold for Lancelot and Catalina and other people, <laughs> right? Like Rackham. So, what about the skills though? I mean, you can set it up to like each individual buttons, right? So, if you, for example, if there's a skill that is need to be hold, then you can set it up to press R1 or right button and A at the same time and you don't have to set it up, you don't have to set the A button to a turbo so basically turn that off and then it will return to, to your controller default so that's it but I do like to turn that turbo mode on for A because I'm like for fate episode like you, I really hate spamming buttons in general. I, what I like to do is just hold and then it will automatically uh, dust the job for you. That's what I like. So that is basically the hidden settings for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink that will not mess up your thumb. Yeah, this game is full of spamming man. I kid you not. You can only do this with the controller. So everything is done. Now we are going in game to showcase 
how it works. Even from the beginning of this game, you can just hold it. Let's see. I'm gonna hold A. Ah, see, I'm, I'm holding. Uh, I'm not uh, pushing. Man, I gotta set up the... What do you call that? The control, controller layout of overlay or something. Alright, so we are just going to jump in straight into the game. You know what? Let's go for docks. Why not? Let's showcase this with a dummy. So, as you can see, this is pressing, sorry. This is pressing, right? Yeah, like that. But if I hold it, it will still hit. So that is pretty sick. I, I didn't know this before, actually. And then, press A2, you can hold it. Press, press B. Look at look at the look at the button right there, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just holding the buttons. <laughs> it is so funny. Now the best part again about this is for fate episode. Look, I'm really lazy to clear all the fate episodes because it's really just button spamming. I personally don't like reading, so uh, take a look at this. I'm holding A. And then, yeah, it will automatically fast forward and press the button for you. Super easy, super convenient. I, I fucking love this, okay? Look at this. <laughs> that is so fun. That is so, so fucking fun. Alright, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide. And have fun in Grand Blue Fantasy Real Link. This game really does need... A lot more quality of life improvement. Okay, uh, yeah, bye guys. <laughs>